today what I'm going to do is uh, the spire will sit on here. And so what I'm going to do, put a bracket on the back side, well, something to the top of this, just to keep the spire on. So I have some half-inch plate, and then the other thing I'm going to use, uh, I bought some uh, 3, three sixteenth uh, angle iron. And so i trying to figure out how to make a bracket weld it to the uh, plate that I have and then weld it to the top of the uh, trailer tube here. So yeah, I'm going to weld it to the top. But this is about 16 and a half inches from there. So once I get the plate mounted to the <coughs> wheel with the two studs, then I'm going to measure the top of there, cut it, and then go from there. So this is what this will be about. I'm going to put my spiral right there and try to build a spiral bracket, a spiral holding bracket is what we're going to try to do. All right, here's my half inch plate. Uh, it'll actually uh, fit right in there perfect. So what I'm going to do is hold it on the back of there, take my mark or pin, and I'm going to drill me two holes, one on each side here. So I'm going to probably put a hole there. Okay, got my hose. I'm gonna drill my take a drill, put two holes there, ream it out to make these uh wheel studs fit. Okay, I bought me some uh, lubricant, cutting lubricant, rapid tap brand. Uh, the problem is I uh, got these at the parts store yesterday, and the threads are kind of rough on them. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of oil on them. I'm out of my, used to have a different oil, but we'll just use some of that. It just, just takes a little bit <coughs> of any kind of oil. But I ran out of my PB blaster, so what I'm going to do is a 7-8 socket. Just run this down. Get this good and tight. Make sure the threads are... No problem. I don't have a tap and die set. So, I'm just going to run this down here. And yeah, they're getting pretty tight there. So, <clears throat> through here, let's come in under the bottom. I don't really care about the small threads. Let's get on that shank. <clears throat> but I'm going to cut holes through here, and then uh, the plan is to. Ream out the hole big enough. <clears throat> okay, that's all I want to do. I want to make sure they go down, tighten up. Okay, that one worked out pretty good. Okay, put the good on it. Okay, got that one ready. All right, we'll take this uh, caliper here. Let's see how big they are. We'll leave it in fractions just to see. Then we'll change it to a metric number. How big does it mean? Five, eight. Comes out to five eight, so the stud size is five eight. So I don't think I have a drill that big. We'll get it set up. <clears throat> Punch out the center here. There we go. Finally got through it. Alright, finally got through it. Let me uh, 
one glass. And we'll go clean this off right quick and come back and ream out the hole a little bit bigger. I worked out pretty good with ream those out and that's what I want. I want a pretty snug fit uh, usually on a vehicle on a brake rotor or a brake rear axle these splines keeps it from spinning but I'm gonna tack weld around them so <coughs> this here fits really well you hear it snap into place this is part a little loose but it's not gonna matter because I'm just gonna tack it keep it on the back plate okay and let's see, these are pretty cool. Well, let's just see how the plate's supposed to fit. It's gonna be like that on the on the deal. All right, we'll get it all set up, get it mocked up, and kind of see what we need to do for its welding wise. All right. Okay, so we just. We just cleaned up some of the fouling's there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is fit the uh, plate with the studs to the wheel first, then get some measurements, and then I'm going to cut this off and weld this to the back of that quarter inch plate. This is 316 angle. What I'm going to use, I bought the uh, Diablo carbide for the sawzall, so I'm going to try it and see if it do it. To do a nice clean cut, uh, should do three sixteenths with no problem. So we're going to do that. If not, I got a cutoff wheel that I can try. The cutoff wheel just has so much debris flying all over the place. This thing here, kind of the the millings and stuff, just falls straight down. We got it mocked up here, and uh, what I did was uh, I took my little torpedo lever, put it across. Got it level across, and I put my marks here on each end. And then I took a pin, I ran this magnet on top of this, ran it across to there to get my level mark. Because what I want to do is uh, weld a piece of angle line on the back of this piece here. Once I weld a piece of angle line on the back of that, then I can go straight across, be flat, facing this away. And uh, <coughs> then I, I have to do this. Just weld a little small piece. So, like I said earlier, uh, the plan would be to weld this to there according to my markings. Then I'll run a bracket from here to the top of the trailer. So, but uh, as you can see, that uh, everything is uh, level. And so, the magnets really came in handy. So, I'm going to take the plate off, uh, take the wheels off. clean everything up then weld that piece on the back and then we'll come back cut a piece of 316 and run a piece of 316 from here to there 316 angle line and weld it down nice and neat and then we'll go back and uh, paint everything and it should be done so <clears throat> all I need to do is hold it against the trailer this is going to be my piece on the bottom that helps it with gravity I could come back later on if I wanted to and put another extension out here, but I don't think it's necessary because with those two 5'8 bolts and in my wells hole, uh, we should be good. Okay, well, we'll try to build this up back here a whole lot and uh, I don't have the tools to bend angle line, so we'll try to make a bead as long as possible. And I may end up putting a gusset under the bottom, cut a 45 degree angle put it on the bottom just to make sure and I, I, and I could well another piece of angle line under the bottom so but we'll see what happens okay we'll come back with some welding hopefully
Okay. Those worked out pretty good. They fit. Put it level from side to side. Uh, I'm off just a little bit. Off just a little bit on that. Should have been just a tank up a little higher. But I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a trailer, but I'll tell me next time. Make sure my measurements just a little bit better. Let's see if it's level across here. All right. They do a better job on that, getting it level across. So, did a whole lot better on that. Okay. Now it's time to uh, figure out what I'm going to do there. Probably going to run a, get another 316 piece of angle iron. Just weld it from there. I'll tell you what I could do. Let me see. I probably could make it. Put a six inch pieces of that right there. Oop, no, that'll make it worse. Yeah, that'll make it worse. Alright, so what we'll probably do. That's what the plan was, is to weld a piece across like that. And uh, so I'll take that bracket off. Get a bead on each side of that. Get me some 3 16th weld to that. And then, uh, like I said, it'll be just a little bit off. But uh, it'd be close enough for government work. And if my wells don't mend too well here, I'll just drill a hole and put a screw in there. Yeah, and put a bolt in there and it'll stay on. Okay. Other than that, come out pretty good. Okay, so what I decided to do is uh, try to run a bead across here, tack it here, tack it over there, run a bead, run a bead here. I put three tacks here. One, two, three there. Uh, that, that one looks best of all of them, but uh, it worked. And so once I get all this together, then I figure out how to mount it up on to the uh, trailer and weld this in down to the trailer and uh, then take it off and I'll uh, probably paint it on the trailer. I don't really care. Yeah, I'll probably paint it all after it cools off. But I gotta leave that clear for the trailer, so <clears throat> may not get just put any paint on it, it's fine. Uh, eventually I'm gonna have to repaint the whole trailer. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is put a seam here, seam here, seam here. Probably let it cool a little bit. May just put tacks on the corner. Let it cool off a little bit and then come back. Okay, I'll just run those straight across there. And then uh, we'll come back after to get it tacked. This is done. This worked out better than expected. My measurements was a little off. Um, let's see, did I? Yeah, so I'm off just a little bit. Uh, this this right here should have picked it up just a taint more. But I got off a little bit when I marked it with the Silver Street. And so it's not bad. Uh, let's see, uh, probably can't measure this anymore because I don't weld it out on there, but I thought I had that level too, but I may not have. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that is level. All right. Did a good job side to side. So, well, that's my first welding deal uh, using my uh, stick welder. Uh, I use the uh, Well Pro 155 uh, GD. It's a MIG, TIG, and flux core, but I've only been using stick. I'm really trying to learn stick. I like it. If if I know what I know now, I would have just got a stick gun. But anyway, it's done. <coughs> so this is just a close up using that uh, 611 rod. It's bubble gun. I think it may hold. Uh, those chips are from what's it called? They're not worms. Uh, this is bubble gum here. I call myself tacking that across the top. But uh, really happy with this. This well kind of came out pretty decent right here. So it's halfway decent. So I hope it stay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna think about it. Sleep on it. I may come and drill a hole on each side and then put a little old mellow screw in it just for safety measure, just in case. 
But uh, what I did is, like I said, I designed it to where the weight is on the bottom of here. So this is basically going to hold it back like this and keep it pressed up against that bar there. So we should be good to go. Alright, so if you like these kind of videos, um, I do things out on my property. Just hit that uh, like, subscribe. When you hit the subscribe button, if you hit the bell at the top, you'll be automatically notified when I put up another video. And uh, again, thank you for looking at this channel. And thank you for subscribing. Alright, share them with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.